Hey, what's up everybody? March 15th, 2021. The snow is beginning to come down. This is the heaviest part of the system coming down right now. And you know what? We were just driving by my friend's place and I just want you guys to check it out because there's so much cool stuff. This is where I shopped for everything when I first moved here. So give me a second. We're just gonna go in for a quick second and then we're gonna finish up the uh, snow tour because it's, it's snowing heavy. Okay guys, so this is right off of Big Bear Boulevard and his place is basically this whole downstairs for the most part until right there, the whole downstairs. And they have so much good stuff and they have so much unique stuff too. So anyway, thank you right. guys. So let's, let's, let's go inside. All right, this place is one of the coolest places up here. As I told you guys, this is where I used to all the time when I first moved to your shop because there was, they had everything here. I mean, everything you needed. And then since I quit smoking cigarettes, you know, obviously I'm not smoking as, as much, but my gosh, they have everything you need here. And, and this is Tristan right here. Hey guys, he is one of Bear Smoking Bait. Thank you, dude. Thank you, dude. That's one of Sahil's guys. Sahil is, he's, he's one of the most amazing guys. He's just such a nice human being. And I love, doing stuff for the wonderful freaking people. And yeah, he's got cool dudes working for him, you guys. They'll always treat you right. Um, I mean, they have everything here, guys. As I said, this smoke shop is a smoke shop similar to a lot of the ones down the hill, but they have more up here. And the reason being is we're in the mountains. And so to get stuff up here all the time, it's just a pain in the butt. So this guy has so much more stuff than most other places do. Very novel, like novelty items too. You guys would be very, very, very stoked. And if you mention me, he might charge you double. So you might not want to do that. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, yeah, guys, I mean, they have everything and we've hardly even scratched the surface here. You know, just, just you know, this is, this is my heaven in here, you guys. And then uh, I know a lot of my friends smoke these, these puff bars right here. I suggest you guys get on those if you're smoking cigarettes, because I don't want you to die. Get off those cigarettes and smoke these puff bars. Yeah, so they've got uh geez guys, they have so much beautiful stuff. And then uh oh yeah. Yeah, that's uh silicone, right? Yeah, we got silicone bongs, pipes, anything you're looking to use for outdoor adventuring, doesn't want to break it. Very cool. We've got a good selection of stuff, nectar collectors. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Jeez man, just so much stuff. Oh look at then a bunch of glass pieces and stuff, you guys, just amazing stuff. Hey guys, he doesn't overcharge like a lot of the head shops now, or smoke shops down the hill do. Um, he's very, very fair. That's why he does very well up here, you guys. And we contribute to people up here that are honorable people that want to help the tourists out. And he is definitely, definitely one of them. He looks out for you guys big time. We got all the baking accessories, juices, oils. We got the humidor in the back. They got a humidor back here too. Is this a customer area then? We do allow customers back here only into the humidor. It's where we keep our cigars. Oh, wow, guys. Guys, look at this. I never knew he had this back here. You guys. Oh, man, it smells so nice in here. It's got that nice humidor smell. We got fresh firewood available as well. Guys, hey, I, you guys been asking about fresh firewood? Come over here and, as I said, mention my name. I'm, I'm not sure if if he would hook you up or charge you twice, but just mention my name because I want him to know that I care about him and that I do try to send as many people here as I can. Look at those hookahs, guys. So cool, man. Holy moly. Sleds too, guys. Sleds right here. Seriously, they have, they have everything, guys. Come buy, come buy all your stuff here. I'm, I'm dead serious. He will take care of you. He's my buddy. So yeah, so this is a, uh, yeah, it's just, it's just a big store full of so much cool stuff, you guys. And, uh, yeah, man, I mean, everything. Here are a bunch of CBD tinctures, oils, joints, Delta-8 joints. Wow. Chief disposable CBD bakes. Guys, seriously, seriously, come up here empty-handed because you will not be disappointed, I promise. And, uh, yeah, is there anything else that you would like me to, or us to know about here so we can absolutely get all of Sahil's stuff in. Well, we definitely got the best prices on the mountain. We do carry handmade glass if anyone's interested in collecting glass. We got tons of selection. We got crown glass. We got diamond glass, Dutch glass, tons of different accessories that you can put onto your bond for ash catchers and other accessories you could use too. That's you. Knowledgeable, knowledgeable. Thank you. No Thank you. And you know what? Sahil should be very proud to have you working here, brother. Thank you. Seriously, absolutely. And thank you. Oh, guys, stuff to 
clean off your windshields and stuff when it gets icy out here. Just, just, just guys, there's like everything. I mean, there's ping pong balls for when you guys want to, you know, play beer pong and stuff or and masks and uh, gloves. Oh, look at these. Oh, those are bad masks right there. Oh, heck yeah. Look, look at that. <laughs> I like that. Oh man, guys, they have, they have so much cool stuff up here. I would be honored if you guys come up here and uh, shop with my boy Sahil and his guy Tristan right here. Tristan, thank you again. No problem, thank you for coming around. My pleasure, my pleasure. Thank you for being very knowledgeable and uh, that just shows that you care about what you do. And uh, that means a lot to my people because uh, they all work hard too, so. Yeah, it's all community up here. So thank you again, man. And uh, yeah, we will be seeing you later, Tristan. All right. All right, man. Peace out, brother. You too. All right, guys. That was awesome, huh? That was awesome. So we're gonna go check out the snow now. All right, guys. Bust this out here. We need to go to the right. All oh, perfect timing. Yeah, it's coming down, guys. But holy moly, I'm just telling you guys, man, what wonderful people, what wonderful people over there. And that guy is, he's, he's, he's just, he's worked so hard. He's worked so hard and they're opening up a second store up here, guys. That that should tell you everything you need to know, just how good they are, how good and how helpful they are over there at, at Big Bear uh, Smoke and Vape. They're just wonderful people, man. It's so cool to find people out there who genuinely want to make sure that you have a good experience. It's very rare, but jump on that whenever you can, you guys. Because most people are out there just just to make money you know and just you know which is which is fine you know like it's it it is what it is but that's the greatest thing about capitalism is if you're a douchebag people don't don't have to shop with you and they probably won't and therefore capitalism will crush you but if you're a kind person who cares about your customers and have a great acumen and work ethic then you will succeed and and uh, it will be big it's always about caring, caring about other people, man. It's, it's, it's a very, very honorable thing to do, always. But yeah, so here we go. This is the brunt of the storm right now, guys. And unfortunately, it only says one to three inches now. It went from not too long ago, just a, a couple hours ago, three to five inches still during the day. And then one to three inches this evening. Evening. So it's kind of, uh, yeah, a little bit disappointed. But, uh, oh man, it just, it just sucks that we're, we're getting near the end of our season. And uh, for those of you who believe in my predictions and stuff like, like that and who have been following me for at least this last season to see that I've been lucky on basically everything, like almost spot on, like it's been crazy. But uh, my prediction is uh, that we're, we're gonna be getting some good snowfall, guys, through the middle of May. I'm telling you, I'm, I really believe that. Um, as soon as our ski resorts close in a couple weeks, we're gonna start getting some good good amount of snowfall again. It's interesting, but that's, that's what I see happening. Because my name is Miss Cleo. But yeah, we're in between Division and Stanfield Cutoff on Big Bear Boulevard right now. And yeah, it is coming down. It is coming down. This is gorgeous, man. This is gorgeous. I love it. I love it. I love it. Oh, it's so great. And it's 33 degrees. And we're like on that snow line, guys. We are on that snow line. Stanfield cut off you guys and this is basically uh this is like what I consider the cutoff between Big Bear Lake and Big Bear City even though I think technically it's behind us at Division Road but this is what I consider the 
you know, once we cross this intersection, then we're technically in Big Bear Lake. At least the mailing address. And uh, I was talking to the owners of the hotel we're staying at right now. They're really sweet, sweet people. Um, really sweet. And uh, yeah, I hope you guys end up staying there at the Fireside Lodge. It's a fantastic location. It's a comfortable little place, you know? And, and they don't kill you with prices. And as I said, just wonderful, wonderful people. The staff is great, the owners are great. Um, yeah, all around it's been a, a good experience so far. But look at this snow, I'm loving it so much. I'm so excited. I'm so excited about it. bend it's gonna it usually starts to pick up with snow a little bit more um, it's, just, it's just how it is up here a lot of it in this part has to do with the fact that uh, for a long stretch on the lake there's nothing blocking any wind except for like basically these buildings right here and, uh, because on the other side there's some marshland and uh, it's it's basically flatland, so you get unbelievable winds right here, you guys. Especially, okay, I used to work here at Get the Burger, up here on the left-hand side, Get the Burger. And working right there, because it's completely open to all the elements right through here. And they just get so blasted with wind right here, right on this corner. Oops, oops, cop, cop going fast. Cop going, whoa, that was freaking awesome. You see how fast he was going? Oh, he, he had his lights on, now he turned them off. I don't get it. Holy snowfall, Batman. This is crazy. Look at how beautiful this is. Oh, man, that's gorgeous. We're just going to go for a little bit further. And you know what? I don't think I need to be at my house to upload this. I'll just do it at, at the hotel, huh? We do it at the hotel. Oh, so happy. Oh, so happy. Oh, so happy. Wow, you guys. This is what I'm talking about. Even with these last storms that we have had this last week, we didn't have any steady snowfall this heavy, so that's cool. And you'll start to see the further we go this way, you'll start to see white accumulating on the sides of the roads a little bit and on the sidewalks a little bit. The further we go this way, Oh man, it's getting nasty ahead of us. This is great. This is fantastic. This is loud, loud. Get in the chopper, loud, loud. <laughs> oh. oh gosh. Okay, um, yeah. Unreal, guys. We're getting this, we're getting it. Getting it and getting it and getting it, Mom. Right. Hey, slow down, Turbo. Wait, there you go. You guys, this is cool, man. And the cool thing is, is that we're gonna be in a centrally located part of town in terms of shopping and restaurants and, and just uh, walking and, you know, just a spot where a lot of the tourism is. And that's right where we're staying basically in the heart of it. Robin Hood Resort was a little more like in the heart because that was technically in the village. But this place, uh, to, to be honest, like uh, I enjoy bowling, but I haven't been bowling in a long time and the bowling barn is right across the street. So you get to go to the bowling barn and uh, yeah, 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 yeah. What else is across the street from there? Bowling barn and then you have uh, Leroy's uh, uh, ski and board shop apparel shop type thing and uh like literally right right across the street you'll be in the village you just cross the street and you'll be on one of the streets into the village so everything is walking distance from from here i mean technically even one of the ski resorts you could walk to as the crow flies from right here it's about a about three quarters of a mile 
back the other direction. So uh, yeah, you could you could technically walk there, but where where we're staying right now, we're gonna have access to everything over here, which is the Big Bear Lake Village. And as I said, that's where you guys want to be is in there because that's where all the tourism, um, most of the, most of the restaurants, like the the candy places, the ice cream shops, the new lobster place. My gosh, guys, they have, they have a lot of great stuff in there. And they love having you guys. They love having you guys. It's a very tourist orientated area. And uh, that's why I love it so much because even though I'm technically a local now, I've been here five years, I still want to feel like I'm a tourist here. But anyway, guys, we're back at the hotel. And uh, yeah, peace out. Peace out. This is going to be this video for right now. Love you guys.